So here I've bolted a test plate to the uh, underside of the case to simulate the valve body on a TH400. And the reason I want to do that is I want to confirm that all of the friction uh, applied elements in the case will actually apply when commanded to do so uh, during the course of normal operations. So what this test plate will do is allow me to introduce air into each of the clutch circuits, forward, intermediate, direct, as well as the two bands. And when I introduce air, what I'm looking for is a nice firm apply uh, with no hissing or no, you know, um, indications that there's something wrong in that circuit, like a leak. Um, and then followed by a um, equally crisp release of the frictions, you know, clutch pack off of the uh, respective pressure plate. So I'll go ahead and I'll do forward first and then I'll move to intermediate and then direct and then I'll test the bands. Now, the two bands are not as, um, you know, it's not as readily distinct uh, insofar as here in the, you know, the apply because one, they're, you know, they're bands. But two, the gasket here it's, you know, for the lower verse, there's, you know, there's no hole here. It's just gasket. So you're kind of trying to force air through the paper gasket. And then the intermediate band, you can really test that only once, which I've already kind of done. And then um, that's, that's it, at least with this test plate. So we'll do forward and then we'll move to intermediate and so forth. All right, that sounds good. Now we'll do the intermediate. Direct clutch. All right, now normally you would test high reverse, but because we're dual feeding this transmission internally, uh, dual feeding the direct clutches, this has been blocked off with a cup plug, so there's no point in testing it. Uh, so there's low reverse. And what you're looking for is you want to see this, um, this low planet move, because when the band grabs the high planet, it'll move the low planet a little bit, and you know, you'll be able to see that. Okay, and then the intermediate, uh, intermediate band. So this band only comes on when you put the transmission in uh, uh, manual second on the shifter. So, all right, that's how you air check to confirm that everything is good to go and that um, you didn't break any ceiling rings on the way in with either the center support direct drum or the uh, pump and the forward drum.